Hey, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. If you notice, James has a sword. I do. Yes, he got it for Christmas, and the reason why we brought it out is what's in these boxes, James? Different blades and knives and all that kind of stuff. All right, but before we get into that, I'll take the sword from you, James. We'll set it over here so we don't murder each other in the midst of the unboxing. And we have other things that we actually picked up from Savers. Um, and so we wanted to show you some of the things that we actually picked up, um, Savers and other various places. So we've got this Ravensburger puzzle. I think I'm saying that right. So this is a thousand piece puzzle. It'll be available on hookedonpicking.com so you can go straight there. I'll probably put it under the toys or fun find section. So if you're looking for it there, you can find it there. It's a really cool world puzzle. But I have James here. He has this cool Barry saxophone shirt on that he got for Christmas. He is an instrument player, and so we have him here kind of as an expert on this trombone. He's seen many in his band days. And so if you want to go ahead and open that, James. Yes. Yeah, I found this at Savers. Uh, we went there the day after Christmas. We were having a good time with my brother and his wife. And, uh, yeah, when I walked in, I saw this over by the case uh, that they have is where they consider to be their, their best things. I did pay up for it a little bit more than I'm used to, but anytime I see musical instruments, I try to buy them there. So it's in phenomenal condition. This is a tenor trombone mm -hmm. a tenor trombone and the reason it's a tenor based on the tubing there yes. um it is used but it looks like it's in impeccable condition yep. what else do we have so we do have the mouthpiece with it yeah if this thing has been used it hasn't been used a whole lot yeah no. i have a feeling it's some child decided to play the trombone and then didn't play for long so the slide works great the trombone horn looks great mm -hmm. in yep. good condition. and it's uh what is it glory i believe it glory is, is yes. the brand Glory is the brand. So this is already actually listed on hookedonpicking.com. We have it for three twenty nine, dollars which is actually a phenomenal piece because all of the tenor trombones that we looked at were usually $450 or higher. Yep. And so that's We saw one for $4,000. We did see one for $4,000. <laughs> this is not a $4,000 one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's even got a cool little... For all your excess things in here. Mm -hmm. you know, all your little... extra mouse pieces, the uh, slide stuff. Probably music, too. Yep. Yeah, even music if you wanted to. Yep. So, really nice case. Um, you you want to hand that to your mama? Yep. Yes. Here. Move this over. So, you can go ahead and snatch that up. And then, James has something awesome. Yes. So, I, I have recently been making things like this. Small little treasure shit treasure chest pieces over here uh they're fully customizable they've even got like the wood slats and everything there um they're made perfect for like tabletop games and other adventure series things like that um they i we were noticing that a lot of other ones had like skulls and crossbones and stuff like that and that's not really what we wanted to go for so this is perfect for any adventure not just ones that have to do with weird kind of crazy stuff. And it's even like a good piece for just a decoration if you had a more medieval style or uh, or even like pirate style mm -hmm. uh, setup. You can paint it any color you want. So yes. if you wanted it to be gold or wooden or black or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Paul um, James actually created these himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got a, so, he got a 3D printer. I did. Yep. So he actually created the model and yep. printed it himself. And so we'll be having those on hookedonpicking.com. Right. I think two ninety nine a piece. Yep. And if you have other things you want James to make with his 3D printer, just let him know. Yeah, leave uh, it in the comment section below. He will uh, research it and try to make those figurines. And we're going to make them all on hookedonpicking.com. And so that's going to go straight into the college fund to help him. But he's becoming an entrepreneur himself. All right. But we're going to go ahead and get into the fun unboxing of Blades. Would you like to open that one on the far end there? Oh, yes. Yeah, our knife uh, wholesaler was out of a lot of their normal knives. There was a supply issue of even getting the metals and uh, other materials that are needed, and they have been able to catch up, and I was excited. So we've got some of the knives you're used to seeing on the store, but a lot of them that are brand new, a little bit different, uh, that we've never sold before. All right, so here's a box. Go ahead and open this one. So James, he loves pocket knives and different things like that. He likes to look into some of the... Pretty much any kind of blade. Yeah, he does. He, he thinks they're interesting and unique. What are these? Ooh. 
Roman Oh, dice. this is the one that's the um, letter opener. Yep. So it has the domestic style um, design on it. Damascus right. steel, yes. Yep. And so uh, it's it's not Damascus steel, of course, but it has sort of that design. And it comes with a stand. This is a Roman gladius. So this would have been like the a small, of course, replica of what the Romans would have had even mm -hmm. in Jesus' day. So, like, uh, I've got one in my office, and uh, it's a lot more affordable than some of the bigger ones. A lot of the bigger ones are even handmade. They can be $100 plus. So, I think we have these, like, what, something like $14.99 to $19.99, something so like that. it comes with a stand, so you just set it up on your, your desktop yep. as a stand. And it's um, the, sh the edges are not sharp. They can be sharpened, right. but they're not sharp. And so, it's primarily supposed to be used as a letter. Opener. Yeah, yeah. So calling it a knife is probably the wrong way to go. They call it a dagger, I believe. But it's it's really just kind of a put on your shelf and a neat little, just kind of a neat little display. So we have a bunch of those. All right, what's next? The box there. Whatever's in this one. I don't even know what would be in that box. I've never seen this kind of box. Oh, here we go. Try to figure out how to open it. Oh, maybe I have. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Ooh, We've been out of these nice. for a while because our supplier was... So it comes with a cool belt. It's got a sheath. I think this is actually a little different than the one we, we were selling. Yeah, the handle is a little bit... The handle bit, is the different. The handle we used to have, it had green on it. This right. one is a solid brown, so we'll make the adjustment. Um, and this will be a different listing, but it's a, called a 12-inch wood bowie knife, I think. That is a knife and a half. Yes, it is. <laughs> we've heard bowie. We've heard bowie. So... It's just a big knife. big knife. I feel like it's the Crocodile Dundee knife. It's now, definitely the Crocodile Dundee knife. Now that's a knife. That's what I think of is the Crocodile. Of course, yep. his was even more wicked looking because I think yep. his had like the jagged edges. These do come fairly sharp. You can sharpen them if you want to. Yep. But we'll get that one back cool. there. I like that they come with the sheath. This is a, It's a oh, leather yeah. too. Yep. Nice leather. It's sheath. actual leather. Belt. Yep. With a belt loop on it. Great to just whip out in a family gathering. Sure. Family gathering. Sure. Cut, cut your steak with one of these knives. That's right. <laughs> Go to a restaurant, use your own knife. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would actually fit with Texas Roadhouse. Oh, yeah. It would fit. All right. What, what do we got here? Another one. I think you had nope, it right nope, there. Nope. Yep. That's the right way. Okay. Oops. It's taped on all sides. Ooh. What? Ooh, survival knives. Yeah, this is a different one. We, You guys have never seen this one. So if you look here, I'll try to show you on the package. Uh, Here's the package. See. Right there. Uh, it has a compass and a flint that goes with it. So, like, if you're a Boy Scout or if you're... Or if you get on the show alone. Right. Or Survivor. I know it's trying to focus on you weird, but it's it's not just a knife. It's so it's got a few more things with it. It's got the actual knife with the um the sheath sheath the sheath, and then it's here's your flint. Yep. Inside here. Hope you was starting a fire, a little campfire. Yeah. I'm not gonna pull it out because I'll never I'll lose <laughs> it. I'll, I'm gonna drop it on the floor, and then the compass is on the knife handle. Maybe? Yeah, it should be on the the top of the knife. It should be I'm the just compass. I'm gonna open this one so you can see the whole thing. Look how you were holding the blade. I yeah. love that too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Heather's really safe with knives. Yes. Very very safe with knives. So it's a stainless steel blade. Looks like a Rambo, doesn't it? It does look like Rambo. And then here and is then this where's where the, the compass. Is? Should be on the top. Now, this does have a little loop. If you wanted to put a string yeah. on it, you can. Wear it as a pendant around your neck. Is that where it's at? Boom. There you go. Wait a there second. it is. There's other stuff in here. Hold on. Is there other stuff in there? There's other stuff in here. What else is in there? What is oh, it? it's matches. Oh, it's got matches. And it's got a needle and thread. <laughs> and it's matches. got little... The band -aid? band aid. It's a survival kit. I never here. knew that it had all that stuff in there it too. Is well, there you go. Just the perfect for survival. It is cool. the perfect survival knife. It's clever. You get thirsty. Put some water in there. <laughs> no, don't do don't that, everybody. Yeah. Don't drink okay. out of your knife. People will think you're weird. Even bears will look at you like, "What are you doing?" Weird bears will look at you funny if you. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and put it all. Back That's cool. Nicely later. 
Yep. I thought that might be kind of clever. That's a Rambo knife. I did not know it had the matches in the needle. That I knew the compass really and the flint, but that's all I knew. That's sweet. One more package in this box. Nice. Open this way. Open that way. Ooh. Ooh. What are these? Open these. Which one's going to open it? You both took a box and you both <laughs> went separate ways. <laughs> Just to help you totally out. Totally split the cameraman in two. Oh, okay. This is one of those um, paring knives. Paring knife, yeah. Mm. But look at the handle on it. I love that there handle. It is. It's a wood handle. It's oh, a wow. Pakistan yeah. blade. Yeah. yeah. I can see how that could be useful. Yep. There you go. Cool. It's a pretty little knife. It is a pretty little knife. It's pretty. Okay, we'll get that back. Package up good in a minute. All right, now we have the next box. All right. Big box. You want to open this one? I can do it. I don't know if I have experience with opening boxes, though. <laughs> see? She almost stabbed her son. Did everybody see it? I saw it. It was awesome. Heather's very safe with knives, everybody. It's a wonder I haven't cut an arm off yet. Yep. I'm Ooh. normally terrified. Oh, yeah. Let's start off with these. Oh, yeah. So those are our hats. So we have... Why don't you guys unwrap them? <laughs> We've got the embroidered flag. We used oh, to have really these. Cool. We sold out of these, and they didn't have any more. And they just got uh, more back in style. More back in style. It's got the Velcro on the back mm -hmm. here. It's not the trucker style. I yeah. don't know what style you call that ball a, ball yeah. cap style. I guess. And then we have the digital camo one too. And uh, we had to correct somebody. Digital camo does not mean that there's anything digital. Yes. It's not electronic. It's, it's the, the pattern. Yes, the pattern of the camo. Someone thought that it was electronic yes. because I said the word digital. They actually bought it and they were like, hey, it's not digital. I'm like, well, All it's right. digital camo. Ladies out there or men who like pink, pepper, yep. here's pepper spray. Pepper spray. Yep. Right. We so sell a ton of this stuff to college students. Yep. It's usually who's buying it. But, uh, so we have a bunch of those available. Cool. For any Did jo joggers and stuff like that. Yeah, we do have a... Um, and it's got the police seal of approval. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let's All see. right, what's in there? What do we got here? I have no idea. Ooh. Look That's at our this. Tree of Life journal. Yeah, they brought these for the longest time, too. I figure out how to get this bag open. Oh, here it is. So it Look is got that. the cool kind of antique looking class. You could use this for your gaming stuff, James. Look at it. It's got the Boom. uneven paper. So it looks kind like of more of a parchment. original parchment. Yeah. More of a construction wow. paper style, yeah. really. And then huh. it's uh That is really cool. I like the binding on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look the at binding that. Binding is cool. The looks back is cool. Good. Like, it's completely custom. Yep. Yeah. Boom. Tree of Life. Tree of Life journal. Huh. So we have those. Those are probably all the same. Yeah. Let's see. Are they labeled? They should I think I only got one journal. They were out of all the other journals that we normally so we have gotten. So we just have the Tree of Life ones. Yep. So these are all Tree of Life ones. Yes. So all right. We've got lots of trees of life. Yes, we do. People one year went crazy buying these things. We sell them for about $20 a journal. It works out pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, what else we got? What's in this box? Oh, these are our little arrow throwing knives. They look legitimately like that. Yep. And they have a little um, uh, sheath that goes with them. Yep. I'll open it and show you. Yep. They're they're just kind of a fun little thing to have to, to throw around <laughs> with and goof around with. They're yeah. not like you can get sets that are a lot more expensive, but sure. I think we're somewhere like four ninety nine to nine ninety nine yeah, on so these. Yeah, it's got three blades and it comes yep. with a little sheath. These are sometimes people use them to start practicing to see if they can actually throw a knife, and um, they might they might stick in wood, but they're not going to kill you know. Kill your little sister walking around, <laughs> walking in right. the wrong way, that kind of thing. So, so these are little arrow throwing knives. Yep. So, well, there we go. Oh, here's the lid to that. And these, I think, are little arrows too. Yep. Yep, more little arrows. Sometimes when you buy wholesale, they come in sets of five, ten, twelve. 
So that's why we get so many sometimes. Yep. Okay. Can't just buy one. Let's see. We're going to open this one. What is this one? Hey, hey. There you go. The you want to oh. look at that one? These are pretty sweet. Is it closed? Uh, yeah. A little bit. Yep. They're usually taped on the bottom a couple of pieces. Nothing major. Mm -hmm. Just so the box doesn't come apart. Look at that. Boom. That is America. Cool. Yep. Like, not only does the casing look really cool, but like the actual knife itself. Like, that's a knife and a half. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? That yeah, is it really is really cool. Nice, sharp looking knife. Literally sharp. Oh. <laughs> yep, it stays open. There's a little push button there to get it closed if you want to package that back up. So we've got a bunch more of the Eagle Claw folding knives is what it's called. So we'll more of those. And then we have, let's see what else is in here. Look at this little baby box. Little cute little baby box. Sorry, couldn't help okay. it. There's a it's little okay. box. That's how she used to talk to James when he yeah. was a baby. Oh. Excuse me while I just drop things. Oh, this one's really cool. This is a keychain. Well, we yep. can tell we can tell these knives are durable. Yep. It's a leaf. It's no, a leaf. No, wait. It's a knife. <laughs> no, it's a leaf. No, it's a knife. It's no, the, it's a leaf. It's the most friendly What does it say on knife. it there? It says silver leaf. Silver leaf. Silver leaf. It's a pretty little so silver leaf. It's a neat little keychain. It's a neat yeah. little keychain that you can also use as a deadly weapon. As a deadly weapon. <laughs> or to peel those apples. Yeah, that's more likely. What's that's what your happen. grandpa would use it for. Mm -hmm. He totally would use this to peel apples. Awesome. All right, what's this one? Are these the favorite knives? These might be the favorite knives. They are. We used to have sold a toothpick. ton of these. I think we've sold over 200 of these guys. Mm -hmm. And they say the farmer, farmer toothpick. toothpick. Look and at that. They do actually fold closed. Now, these are very sharp. I'm glad the way they're encased here. This is kind of a foam, little foam plastic looking thing there. But when they come out, they're razor sharp. So be very careful when you get them. But it does actually fold down into the green yes. handle. So just it, like a regular old pocket yep. knife. But just a one blade, just yep. a one blade knife. Farmer toothpick. So. So I think we got them like four ninety nine. Yep. Nothing crazy on it. Nothing crazy on it. But it's a nice little pocket knife. All right, here's another box. Perfect for opening Christmas gifts, that kind of thing. Yep. Right, let's see what's in this one, James. What do we got? More farmer's toothpicks. It's oh, more farmer's thing? toothpicks. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. So I think we have twenty four farmer's right, toothpicks. Those that? come in boxes of twelve. What do we got here? Ooh, wallets. Boom. Different kinds too. Leather wallets. All different kinds. So this one is a trifold. Trifold leather wallet. It's kind of a dark brown. And they're all kind of like crocodile yeah. skin looking. Yeah, they're supposed to have that kind of pattern, the crocodile pattern, if mm -hmm. you will. But they they are, are leather. leather. Yeah. So there's So I we have what trifold are, and bifold, I think. These are yes. bifold. There you go. We got the dark brown and the black for bifold. Yep. So if you go to Leather Wallets, you can find all of the different variations on hookedonpicking.com. Yep. Um, so you can pick which style you want. Awesome. All right, what else we got? What's in this box? Right edge. What do we got here? Here, I'll open that. You want to open it? We have... Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this casing. Ooh, nice. Oh, wow. Wildlife you like that? collection. Then you open it up and you see... Look at oh, that. Look at that. That's way cooler this than is, our old yeah, box Yeah, this knives. is a uh, new box knife I'm going to try. It has a really pretty case. Look and then it's thing. it's got more of a gold look to it. A yeah, really pretty wolf. This one is wolf, so it's got wolves on this side and that yep. side. Now you can use this as a regular pocket knife, of course. 
But uh, a lot of people just use them as displays because oh, yeah. they're just really nice little box and it's a nice little gift too. It is a sharp knife. Uh, Christmas time, of course, is over, but birthdays and that kind of thing. Father's Day. Father's Day. Oh, yeah, it'll go well for Father's yeah. Day. But Those are cool. I know a lot of ladies on our channel like wolf uh, items mm -hmm. too, so that'd yep. be a great this one. That's really sweet. That's a really cool display box. Kind of, kind of has an old magnet. time look to it. It's it even, does have a, what were you saying? Yeah, it's even got like a magnet to snap down. Yeah. So it'll it'll stay shut when you need it to. Cool. Yeah. That's really cool. All right, so we'll put that over there. Okay. Then we have, what are these? Here. Another white box, plain white box. I don't know, James. I don't know if it's see. the same thing or not. Is it the same thing or is it something different? Well, the box inside looks the same. Okay, is it still the Wild wolf one? Collection. You might have just ordered a lot of the wolf ones. No, it's a deer. Not the deer there, yeah. Here, let's see what the deer might Try to move your hand so I can see the deer. There you go. Cool. I'm guessing it would be the same kind, same. Yeah. I just wanted to see him on the... Yep. Look at that. So if wolves Beautiful. aren't your thing, here's a deer. It's got the mountains in the background. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. It's pretty. Wouldn't you love to get a deer with that many points? Oh, my. That'd be great. These are really cool. Fancy. All right. They were a little more than our normal uh, box wooden size. box ones. Okay. So we'll probably have to reflect that in, in the price, but... I think our but, old box ones we sold for ten bucks, so these yeah. might be just a smidge more. Yeah. We'll let you know. Just look under that. Do we, do we have a knife category still? Don't yeah, we? we have a knife category. Uh, yeah. Again? Yes, we do. We didn't have many knives in it because yeah. I just couldn't get a hold of them. But now that we found our wholesaler again, all right. You want to open that one too, James? Another one of those wildlife boxes. All right. Let's see if it's different. Eagle. Oh, that Eagle one. That one's that. so cool. Yeah. It's pretty. Can we pull that out of the plastic sure. so we can see it? Oh, yeah. That is sweet. Nice. Murka. Murka. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh. All right. So that one's really cool. I think that's it for box times because I don't see any more boxes that similar size. So here's the last thing in this box. We'll see what it is. Clearly, it's probably a longer knife. Oh, no. Boom. Oh, well, this one's going to be easy. We don't even have to open this no. one. So we've had these on the store before, the feather knife. Those are neat, though. They look like a feather when they're closed all the yeah. way. Yeah. It's got the chief head on it. Mm -hmm. So, yep. That's pretty sweet. It is sweet. All right, there we go. So all these are already available on hookedonpicking.com. So if you want to check that out, you'll find them under the knife section. Boxes off to the side. There we go. All right. Let's open the last box. What do we got? What is there? Ah. <laughs> there goes. Well, there goes the paper. <laughs> All right. You want to open that one? Ooh. Is that another journal? Interesting style here. I opened this like completely wrong. Or, no, no, this is the way you're supposed to open it. Ah. There we go. Boom. Well, those are more wolf knives, but they're smaller pocket knives. Yep. Uh, just a small little wolf knife. We sold a lot of these, too. Yep, we've had those on the store before, but now they're back in stock. Yep. Here, let's go ahead. Just a nice... No, it's good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because like, it shows a good picture of it. Yeah. That's exactly what the knife looks like. Yep. All right, I'm going to open this one. Plain white box. What could it be? No, one of them is oiled, so we have to be careful. This one, I think, is oiled. Yep, it should be cased, yep. Okay, that's a horseshoe knife, and I'm not going to take it yep. out because it is oiled. Yeah, this is made actually from an authentic horseshoe, okay? Wow. So what they've done is, once they made it, they oiled it, okay? Comes so um, now some people don't want us to clean it off because they're going to store it or whatnot. If you're going to store it, you kind of want to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so there you go. And then all you have to do is take, if you just want to just take a white paper towel wipe and just dry it off. And it's not that big. There's more oil on the bag itself than on the blade, but mm -hmm. it does keep it from corroding or anything. So. Yeah. 
but really kind of a clever piece. You see them a lot, like Silver Dollar City, Gatlinburg, Branson. Branson, Branson. So these are all that kind of places. Guys. All right. James is doing a great job, isn't he? He's the man. He is the man. Don't forget about his little white treasure chest. You can look for those. Absolutely. Yes. The start is 3D. 3D printing shop. 3D and printing we empire. And would really love uh, suggestions of yes. other things that he yes. could make because he definitely wants to move them as a product and they'll be authentically made by him. Okay, are these our original boxes? I size? think they are. Okay, here you want to open those. And things? it's probably, I, I probably bought 12 a piece is probably what I did. If I'm thinking right. Nice Set wooden right case. There. Yep, there's the bass. Boom, bass. Yep. And it's just like that. It has there. an indentation on the case yep. here to open the blade and yeah. fold it out for display. It's nice. Yep. It's nice. See, so I think, think like I think they're nine ninety nine. I think is what we do. Yep. I'm not hundred percent certain, but I think they are nine ninety nine. Yep. So this one is the bass fishing yep. knife. It'll be summer before you know it. It's like December 27th here, and it's uh, 63 degrees today. Okay, this is also a bass fishing knife. It has the exact yep. same number, So, because there's six in each box. All right, this one is a different one, though. So which one is this? I think I only have four minutes left. Okay. This one is... Boom. There's the deer. the deer one. Look at that. Yep. Yeah. That's a pretty deer knife, too. It is pretty. It's more the brass style than the gold style yep. that we had showed you before. So this one is, I'll see if I can find the same number. Yep, this one is also the deer. It has the same um, product number, so mm -hmm. that way we don't have to open the boxes twice. Okay, that's this one. So I think we had four different kinds, which right. means you've I believe I reordered all of them. All four in stock, which is shocking because we have just been out of the knives for so long, and I know it was a popular, popular item for gift giving and stuff. Yep, hard to ship overseas mm -hmm. right now. Uh, a lot of countries don't want knives in, so if you're, I don't. I think we can ship to Canada, but I know the UK they wouldn't allow us that and. Means? Sure. That kind of thing, but um, let's see what we got. Here. No problem in the U.S. Bam, America. America. That one just straight is America. That's Eagle America. with American Eagle flag. With flag. Oh yeah. It's called the Mad Eagle. That knife. That's that's a great knife. Is for he us. mad because he's got rabies? Well, it's Mad Eagle or War Eagle. Or is he mad because he, he does not have rabies? <laughs> he does not, he does not he's have mad rabies? because he's an eagle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so he's American. He's American. And America. Have... Don't mess with America. They're mad eagles. <laughs> okay. We we don't we don't have rabies. We don't okay. have rabies. We don't have rabies. Got it. All right. Uh, this one's a different one. Let me see if I can find the other eagle one. This is the other eagle one. All right, and it looks like these two are the exact same kind. So we're gonna Ooh. open both. We're gonna open this last one. And you'll be able to find everything on hookedonpicking.com, um, even the little treasure chests. Yes. You'll be able to find all of that. It's available already on hookedonpicking.com. You'll be able to get those for $2.99. Mm -hmm. And then let us know what else you want James to make. So he's getting pretty good at the 3D printing, as you can see. There you go, James. I'm trying to. Those are the bear. 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 I love my black bear. bears. Black bear. Black bear in Illinois now. Yep, those would be perfect in Gatlinburg. I'm raising, oh. I'm raising them in my backyard. Oh yeah, yeah. He would love to raise a black I would, bear. I would raise the black thing bear. Is, though, he was ra he would raise a black bear, and then when it's full grown, he would eat him. I would take it to church. It would be awesome. Yep, on a chain. Black bear yeah. in church. Yep. It would be sweet. Be All right, if you want to grab those little treasure chests again, yes. Uh, we want to remind you that the puzzle, the trombone, the treasure chest, and then of course every single knife and hat and wallet and mace are all available. And journal. And journal. So we'll give you a glimpse into those little treasure chests again. There's the back of it for you. So those will be $2.99 <laughs> figurines that you can paint yourself. They're actually made 100% uh, by James. Mm -hmm. 100%. And so he makes the design and then prints them himself. They, how long do they take to print one of those treasure chests? It takes about 40 minutes. Okay. It takes about 40 minutes with the right design and everything. Okay. So. Cool. 
Yeah. All right, so if you're interested in any of that, go straight to hookdownpicket.com and you'll be able to find all of these items that we just unboxed already ready to go there. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Tomorrow is palette. Yes, tomorrow you will get to see a palette unboxing. All right, hopefully you guys had a blast. Thank you again, James, for joining us. Yes. And then, of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are a true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.